All right. First off, make sure, in fact, uh, this isn't gonna be super great because uh, I already got it up to temperature, but you gotta make sure you get a pressure stat on your Pavoni, because if you don't, then how could you possibly figure out what pressure you're setting it to? I don't know. I guess you could measure it with a thermometer maybe, but like my Euro Piccola doesn't have, or sorry, these don't come with uh, pressure stats normally over here. And the newer models do have a pressure, or sorry, they don't have a pressure gauge. Um, and the newer models do have a pressure stat. So uh, I don't, I don't know. You can do these aftermarket, or I think there is an option to get them from the factory with a, a gauge as well. Um, but if you're trying to adjust, like this one doesn't even have a pressure stat, it just uses the ball valve to keep a stint, uh, whatever pressure it sets to. Um, but the professional does have a pressure stat. So um, what we're shooting for here is, I know that green zone goes from like 0.6 to one and a half bar, but anything over one bar is ridiculous. Uh, so it's a little high right now. I just tested how, what the temperature of the water was coming out of there from it being at one bar and it's about 206 degrees Fahrenheit. So I want that a little bit lower because the last time I pulled a shot, it was over extracted and a little, a little too hot. So I'm gonna try to get it down to, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get the pressure stat set so that it stays around uh, 0.6 bars or something like that. Actually, now that I look at it, is that right? Half a bar? 0.7. Oh, you know what? That's point. Okay, so 0. 0.75. So it must be 0. 0.8 bar to to one and a half bar. Yeah, that scale was different than what I was thinking. All right, so it's pretty easy. So make sure that machine's up to temperature. And uh, try to get an angle here so that you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully that, uh, okay. So under the machine, you gotta take the base off. Grab two screwdrivers, maybe kind of a long one here. Uh, and then a, a really tiny one. There's a little set screw that you have to undo. Let's see if I can kind of balance it on the edge of the counter there. And then under here, there's the pressure stat. And you see there's a set screw under there and then a big screw right here. So without touching any of the high voltage wires, obviously, I'm gonna loosen the set screw. way it goes what up oh, higher pressure or lower pressure but we're gonna find out so and you can so what I've been doing is you can listen to the switch click on and off as you so let's see if I go clockwise okay so clockwise makes it higher pressure counterclockwise will make it lower pressure and so I'm gonna go down maybe like I don't know an eighth of a turn and then what you want to do up here is, so it's just above one bar, release some pressure from the steam valve until it drops. And close it. And we'll do a little more. Close it, and then let's listen for the click. Hopefully it's, let's see if the boiler's on, if we went low enough. If we didn't go low enough on the pressure, then the, yeah, it didn't come on, so.
Alright, so that's obviously a little low because it's still not coming on. So let's come under here and go clockwise. Okay, so it just clicked. I don't know if you could hear that. Let's see. Let's see how high it goes before the click happens and it shuts off. There, it just clicked off. So now we're at like point. I don't know, 0.6 bar-ish. Um, and I want it just a tad higher. I want it to be like right at the bottom of the green. So I'm gonna give it just a, this is really sensitive. So just a real gentle cl uh, clockwise turn. And just clicked again. So now let's see where it goes. Point seven five, and it just clicked off. And I'm gonna gently turn the steam one on because I want to see where it, there's a, a start and a stop point where it comes on and off, and I just want to see where the start point is. If you just do the steam gently, you can hear the click. If you have it on too high, you won't hear it. So we're checking to see where it comes on. Right there. I just heard it click. So it's on. So it's about 0.6 bar. It's gonna shut off right there. So actually that's perfect. So I'm gonna just redo the set screw and then I'm gonna measure the temperature again. Uh, actually I could do that right now, I suppose. 